All right, hello from Hong Kong. Uh, was going through the emails finally. I've just been sw just busy flying. I'm on my third time around the world right now. So, uh, last leg back to the U.S. tonight. Yahoo, when I'm done, I think. <laughs> I don't know. With this pilot shortage, you don't know if the company is going to yank, grab you, and make you do another trip around the world. But uh, anyhow, um, going through the emails, and um, I've been noticing the one question that keeps coming up quite a bit is, should I go to college first, or should I learn how to fly first? And, you know, I'm a big proponent of, of college, but, um, you know, before I would say, yeah, you know, to college first, but now in this, the way the industry is right now, this pilot shortage is just out of control. Um, I'd say get your flight time, get go get your ratings first and work on your degree as you're building your flight time. Um, right now I'm seeing guys get hired into, you know, big jets with with just no college. It's not even required. So you can go out there and build time in a triple seven and uh, and work on your college, you know. Then you'll have uh, maybe 23, 24 years old, triple seven time or seven four time at, you know, some cargo carrier like... Uh, like Coletta or something like that, you know, those guys have seven fours, don't require a four year degree, but anyhow, it's it's a way to do it. You know, I just get your flight time first and work on your college degree as you're going along. Chances are right now you'll probably get hired, uh, even in a, some of the majors, if you have, you know, quality enough flight time, they'll, they'll overlook that degree, but do get your degree at some point, you know, just because if, if for whatever reason you lose your, your medical and you need to go do something in the real world instead of flying around in, in, in fun world, um, you know, it's nice to have that degree, otherwise you're probably going to be painting houses or something to that effect. But anyhow, that's my take on it. Um, I, I One thing that happened to me that is really interesting, a friend of mine was offered, he's 17 years old, and he was offered to come to GoJet, or they would pay it for his ticket to go out to GoJet in, Phil, um, in not Philadelphia, in St. Louis, come meet the chief pilot, get one hour of sim time, loggable, and um, uh, meet the meet the uh, new hire class and stuff like that. Guy's 17 years old. It's got a private and an instrument rating. So I mean, that's just mind blowing that they're that desperate that they're now going into you know recruiting high school dudes. I mean, super cool for you guys because man, now if there's ever a time to get into this industry, it is right now, big time. Because this uh, we have all these guys retiring coming up in the next couple of years, and and it's just going to get worse for the airlines as they try to expand and they don't have pilots. So um, the other beautiful thing that's happening there is people are making money now. You know, they're not they're not uh, ripping the regional guys off with that twenty grand a year like in a video I made about I don't know six seven years ago. I should take that thing down, but I'm too lazy to. I'll go in there and probably do that sooner and update it. But um, you know, it used to be twenty grand starting pay at the regionals, and now all of a sudden you know you can make sixty grand your first year at school. It's all over the board, but yeah, I mean it's it's a livable wage. You know, you're not getting ripped off. So you know, before they were telling you, oh. We just, these are smaller jets. We don't like them make a lot of money. I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> so, anyhow, that's it. Um, gotta go. Yeah, I'm zapped. Here's what Hong Kong looks like. I'm actually here. Over there is where that checkerboard approach was uh, up against that hill. And the old Kai Tech airport's over that way. So, um, that's where I'm at. All right. Hope that helps. See ya.